What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto and today's Oatmeal Update. My name is Nick Hellman aka The Crypto Hitman. If you like what we do, if you like daily updates on both crypto and stock, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and news, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button or join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. So, Bitcoin still meandering around 26,000 even with the stock futures looking green. Dow is up 5, Nasdaq is down up 73 and S&P is up 11. We are looking for stocks to continue a little lower, which will put some pressure on Bitcoin. But for now, so far, they are green on this Monday morning. Now, we do have some naked news in the crypto market. You might have heard of Frentech. Brand new project, already has 101,000 users, in which you can sell your token, your friendship token, to your community, and you earn fees based on the trading everybody wins, right? But... Frantech user data has already been leaked. 101,000 users, including their wallets and X accounts, have been exposed. I think this is a good lesson for the Web3 space as we move more into Web3. Take our time. Let's do some due diligence. Let's let some others go first to see if there's going to be a wallet hack, a data leak, or some other major thing happen. Everybody is so eager right now to find the next new thing, to try to make some money, to try to make some alpha, to try to get involved and try to be first. But now all those people, you know, we're seeing it all, crypto banter, all these guys, even NBA players, are trying to get in first. And now look at this already. Your wallet address, your X account, and your name have already been leaked. And that's just what is uh, proven so far. Who knows what other information you need to give. I haven't tried it yet. I was actually going to look into friend.tech today, but this just happened. So I'll wait and see what happens and what comes of that. On some bullish news, Jim Cramer says investors should ignore Bitcoin and buy gold instead. Now, what do we always say? Inverse Cramer. Jim Cramer is paid to be right more than he is wrong, but that just isn't the case for him the past few years, especially when it comes to crypto or crypto-related stocks. So I wrote, we are in business, boys. The Bitcoin inverse Cramer indicator has turned bullish. That is very bold of Jim Cramer to say. Ignore Bitcoin, but buy gold. Obviously, I disagree with that statement. I'm excited. I think that means that the Bitcoin is plus or minus a few thousand dollars from the low here, and we should be getting long very shortly. We also see on the stocks that we are looking at, Coinbase, we sold it at 105.80. It is down to $73 over at patreon.com slash crypto. We do have an overhead buy. We have been saying since this fall, we've been continuing to lower overhead buy, and the 200 moving average is currently just above $70, around $70.20. So keep an eye on that level if you don't want to become a member and know exactly when we're going long. For MicroStrategy MSTR, it has gapped down below the 200 moving average and is currently at $331. Now we do see a little bit of an uptick in the RSI, which means that it might have a bullish cross on the RSI soon. So we're going to go ahead and maybe put, uh, if you want to not be in our group, you can blindly probably put an overhead buy somewhere around 346.53. This is above the gap, and if that gap closes and you get filled, hopefully that means the low has been put in. And then lastly, for the crypto stocks, we have Riot. Riot is sitting at $11 and a penny. A lot of people are looking for sub $10 Riot. That leads me to believe that we have a good chance of holding above that $10 level and leaving all of those Jeets and and bottom lower bottom pickers behind so let's keep an eye on that we sold riot at fifteen dollars and fifty cents it is now down to 1102 we will be increasing our share position after we after we had a 53.3 percent gainer and then for more of a gambling stock it is pen as you know pen sold out Barstool back to David Portnoy, but Penn did partner up with ESPN. We have the NFL and NBA starting soon, and I think Penn will be a big beneficiary of that. Penn is at $22.84. If we get down around $20, I think it is a blind buy, but we are seeing some minor bullish divergences forming on the chart, so we're going to be keeping a close eye on that and uh, getting an entry for that in our portfolio at patreon.com slash learn crypto that is the oatmeal update short and sweet today bitcoin holding around twenty six thousand stocks slightly green but we have our eyes and we are very close to buys on four of our favorite stocks that is coinbase that is micro strategy riot and the new edition pen lastly take it slow guys we already had the data leak on friend tech and of course, Jim Cramer saying, forget about Bitcoin and buy gold. That is a bullish indicator. We are near the low, my friends. So stay tuned for more.
oatmeal update.